Yeah, hello, good day to all of you. This is Lester Garduke. Uh, yeah. uh, I just want to share to all of you uh, how to get or how to perform uh, synthetic division, yeah, division of polynomials. Step one, make this given polynomials in the standard form. Yeah, the exponent must be in a descending order and uh, as well as the divisor if it is x minus 1 yeah then after that one you equate that divisor into 0 or to 0 x minus is equal to 0 now x will become the value of x right now is uh, positive 1 okay and after that one you list down all the numerical coefficient of the polynomials uh, every term yeah and uh, after that one for form uh, as in mathematics and synthetic division the first part is that you bring down uh, the first numerical coefficient then after that uh, that number that you bring down will be multiplied to the divisor and the product of that uh, multiplication process Okay, will be putted or will, uh, it must be put below the preceding or the second numerical coefficient and after that you add then uh, this is a continuous uh, uh, continuous or a monotonous process yeah so and after that you can get the remainder yeah if uh, you will know if uh, there's a remainder or not okay so by performing that uh, operation then yeah uh, you, you will know that there is a remainder if you got uh, a number higher than zero yeah and that is a remainder and if you got a uh, zero remainder therefore there's no remainder and uh, that uh, in short that that uh, divisor is a perfect factor of that polynomial yeah, using a synthetic division and there's a lot of or there's a lot of way how you can get a remainder yeah, you, uh, we can use factor theorem or the remainder theorem yeah thank you and god bless